name is Molly Welch and I'm giving my speech on artificial insemination. Artificial insemination is the process of collecting male semen and inserting into the female reproductive tract. Art artificial insemination was created to speed up the rate of genetic improvement. It is now widespread all across our nation and world. This technique has changed the livestock industry. Kara Rogers states in her article, Artificial Insemination, the first successful experiment with artificial insemination in animals was performed by Lazaro Spinelli in 1780. While investigating animal reproduction, developed a technique for artificial insemination in dogs. After Spinelli researched this and found a lot of information about, he then other researchers became researching it in other animals. Sanitation is a really crucial in, in AI. If this inseminator is not careful, disease can be transmitted to other animals. The semen that is collected needs to be kept at extremely cold temperatures, um, if, if not used immediately. In the book, Artificial Insemination, Current and Future Trends by Jane Morrill, it is stated storing extended semen at reduced temperature helps extend semen life by lowering their metabolism as well as inhibiting bacterial growth. Every animal semen has been stored at different, has to be stored at different temperatures. Goat semen has to be stored only from 12 to 24 hours at four degrees Celsius. Morrill says stallion semen is stored at approximately six degrees Celsius while boar semen is stored at 16 to 18 degrees Celsius. Goat semen can only be stored from 12 to 24 hours or it will be ruined. If it goes over, you can't use it, but um, other animals, it can go longer. There are three common methods, the recto, the recto vaginal method, the vaginal method, and the spectral method. In the article, Animal Husbandry, the, artic, the author states the, about recto vaginal method, the inseminator will insert the left glove hand into the rectum, applying the soft soap or lubricant on the glove and the other hand is further inserted that will catch the surface. The spectrum method is similar but different at the same time. The, ins the inseminator places the spectrum inside the cow and the inseminating tube is placed inside the spectrum and then the semen is inserted that way. The author states about the vagina method, the hand is placed, is passed through the vagina and the in inseminating tube is guided by hand to the site of insemination and the semen is deposited. This method is the highest risk of contamination and you don't really want to use it. The author says that in cattle, the safe and the best method of insemination is the recto vagina method. Different animals require different um, methods. There are many advantages and disadvantages to in artificial insemination. Um, there are more positive than negatives. Andrew Gentry wrote in her article, Pros and Cons of Artificial Insemination in Cattle, the primary advantage of artificial insemination is it allows breeders to select from a larger population of sires, making superior genetics available to more than just breeding operations. Artificial insemination can be used all around the world. If a cow was in Montana and we want to use it down here, we can. Um, we can just have it, the semen shipped to us. This helps our production and our genetic rates. The decrease in expenses is another advantage. Instead of buying a $1,500 uh, bull calf, you can buy $30 semen that way. Another positive is the rate of conception is increased. You don't have too big of um, heifers born in big, uh, big mama cows. Genetically improved animals help for sm smoother births. Gentry also states, however, properly executing an artificial inseminating program requires specialized knowledge and additional time. Any minor mistake can affect the child or the mother when artificial inseminating. To do the artificial insemination, you must study and make sure you, have it, you do it correctly. The extra time and help needed will increase the cost. In summary, art, artificial inseminations have advanced over the last decades. More people have learned about it and started to perform it. If it doesn't matter if you're a scientist or a local farmer, you can still use this, this method. I'm so glad I had this opportunity to talk to you about this topic. It is something that has interested me from a long time 
and I'm glad I got to share with you. Thank you for your time.